Have you ever wondered how something like this turns into something like that? Find out next on Real World. Here at NASA, everything begins with an idea. But somebody has to take that idea and turn it into a vehicle that flies. A physical model is a great way to begin. Models allow engineers to test their ideas before a full-scale version is even built. Let's check in with Kevin McLean at NASA's Langley Research Center so he can show us how these models are made. So to make a physical model, we start with an idea that's given to us by a researcher or an engineer. And we sit down, we talk about what we want to build and what those parameters of that test is going to be. So if, for a physical model, math is very important because there's a lot of different variables that can come up where you need to know the different weights of materials compared to what a finished product's going to be at your end weight of the model. Then you're going into measuring what dimensions. So every part of that model has to be measured and constructed to a specific scale. So if you start with an actual airplane in real time, you need to know how to dynamically scale that down or just scale it down to what the ratios compare with the fractions of different parts and how things move within space. And then you need to know, um, like for when you're cutting materials to actually put into these laminates or these skins, you have to know what a hypotenuse is gonna be so you can actually put everything together and splice in really weird kind of contours that are gonna be in your model because nothing's ever gonna be perfectly straight. So there's a lot of different geometry that goes into creating airflows. Most of the physical models we build here in the model shop, if they're not tested here on center, we do send them elsewhere. And here on center, we can put it in um, NTF, and that's a cryogenic tunnel, so it can get really, really cold and see, kind of substitute what happens when a plane gets really, really high in the atmosphere. And then we have like some of the 3D printed models, they go into our low speed tunnels, which can be 12 foot, or our spin tunnel. The spin tunnel looks at what happens in a flat spin if a model's falling out and it stalls. How well can that model gain its kind of footing back and start flying again without crashing, or how bad does it crash? So model can help make a prediction by allowing us to visualize and understand what happens when we put something that we've never done before into a situation or an environment that we just can't understand. Technicians use math to build more than just physical models. They're building prototypes to bring innovative new ideas to life. Whether it's a physical model or a computer simulation, researchers use math to take an idea from concept to flight. I'm Mache, and I'll see you next time on Real World.